Hey guys, Backyard Scientist. It's almost Thanksgiving, so there's a lot of things I'm thankful for. My friends, family, my subscribers, and most of all, Christopher Columbus for coming to America and discovering aluminum for me to enjoy. Today, we are going to be pouring molten aluminum on this, and I also brought some sodium and sodium potassium alloys, so we're gonna blow some stuff up at the end too. Let's get started. This is the most aluminum I think I've ever melted. Don't drop this one like I did last time. It's a lot of aluminums. All right, first up is the vase of cranberries. I was hoping the molten aluminum would snake through there and create a cool cast, but it exploded. Sent hot shards of aluminum and glass flying all over the table, setting everything on fire pretty much instantly. Good thing I was wearing some extra clothing. Next up was the apple pie and then the potatoes. Everything was surprisingly resistant to the molten aluminum. I probably could have eaten it afterwards. Happy Thanksgiving. You know what? This doesn't even smell that bad. As far as molten aluminum stuff I've done, this one is... It's almost like pleasant. It's like caramelized cranberries. Right? It doesn't sm it smells good. It smells <laughs> yeah. like... This reminds me of Thanksgiving. I mean, this didn't even really go inside of it. Yeah. This has a really cool color on the bottom of it. This is from the pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie stood up like probably the best out of anything here. Or maybe the mashed potatoes did. It's so gross. So gross. I oh my God. Smell this. You have to do it. I think it was the turkey gravy we put in there. That is foul. Here is the thing that exploded on me. This is the cranberry sculpture. Ooh, like cooked them. Hey, this is a good way to cook cranberries, molten aluminum, check that out. Let me, let me go rinse this off with the hose really quick and I'll come back. So the cranberry sculpture actually came out looking pretty cool. Maybe like some kind of coral. It would look good in a fish tank. All right, one more thing. This is a vial of sodium potassium alloy, pronounced NAC. Now, it's way more reactive with water than sodium or potassium alone. And the cool thing about it, it's a liquid at room temperature. So what we're gonna do is suck up a little bit with a syringe and then put it drop by drop into the pool. And you'll see the second it touches water, it explodes and sparks fly everywhere. And that's just one drop. I've got a lot in here. So what we're gonna do is put it inside of a bottle, inside of a can of cranberry sauce. And I'm gonna try to shoot through it with my BB gun and break it in the center of the cranberry sauce. And hopefully we'll have cranberries flying all over the yard, so. Yeah. Oh, it's going. There we go. Whoa! That was, that was that awesome. Was good. That was so cool. So that's a, oh, one of these just nailed, totally nailed it, like right there. The rest is history. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Um, if you liked this, you should stick around till the end because there's some more stuff that didn't quite make it into the main video. See you next time, bye. One more thing left to do. It's time to blow up this cherry pie with these chunks of sodium. All right, here we go. One piece of, one chunk of sodium and the pumpkin pie. That's pretty. Yeah. Totally. Right. Yeah, that is a smoke of like sodium hydroxide. We'll give it a minute to go away. Yeah, it still kind of smells funky over there. 